watch you throw your stuff and and they look good and then then you bring out the low flaring balls and i'm like wow that looks really good <laughs> like for me i like i like to keep things simple yeah because the mind is kind of simple, simple. Yeah. Oh, oh there's the mixing shot blaine leaves the 10 pin and you know he got that double he was the first one to double, so that normally means uh, first one to double normally wins. So well, he has um, 20, 30, 36 pin lead right now but with a spare. You know, back to back splits by Raymond. Yeah, that's that's a ripoff. It's <laughs> he's just got no breaks this game. No, the but little you, light, little high is all split. Right, Even the pocket true. is all that's split. Yeah. Rip. That's what so a rip is, off is. is. Yeah, it is. It, so he's getting ripped off then. But right now, you know, if you make if good if shots and you're not getting rewarded, that's a rip off. Yeah, that's a rip off. But right now, if he just buckles down and, and takes a deep breath, like what he just did, and makes it's good shots and just pray for that carry. Well, you you know, Blaine opened in the tenth the last game. Right, exactly. You know, he was pretty much around the pocket early part of the game. Right. So, so second half. Silk and Fish with a 201. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Wow. And, and he blew that rack he, apart. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he can throw strikes. I mean, you know, he's here. So he needs to throw one more and, and sit down. and. One more would be really good at this point in time. Because yes. at least he'll, he'll tell Blaine that I'm I still, still got something. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Let's take a look at Raymond's style. Um, oh. uh, pretty, pretty solid at the line. Um, Contemporary style, yeah? Yeah. Very solid at the line. You know, not too much head movement. You know, he's got oh, that aggressive nice. shot. Wow. Oh. Oh. He, he really <laughs> liked that one. It's he really liked that one. He got that one in well, really nice. I, I really like how, how he was so parallel yeah. at the bottom of the yeah. swing, shot it out to his break point. Really nice. Yeah. And he knew he really needed that one. And oh, that just kind of takes the win. <laughs> Right out of your on. sales. Well, he, I mean, you know, he could have just folded. Yeah. He was three splits. Right. Could have just folded, but he's yeah. he's still he's still in there challenging. You know. Yep. I mean, like you said, it's a one-game match. Anything can happen. Yeah. I mean, you know, he saw Blaine have the split in the tenth frame, the mm -hmm. last one. Oh, at Lihui Bowling Center, you'll find Rocking Glow Bowling, Great Pro Shop, Snack Bar, Karaoke Lounge, and Pool Tables. Many of our Hawaii's top tournaments are held there. Uh, like we got the state tournament coming up. Uh, it's Memorial Day weekend, so that's Lihui Bowling Center on Kauai. Two four five, five two six three. Uh -oh. oh, that was a close one. Mm -hmm. yeah. I late saw that ten. seven ten flash yeah, for a little while. That was a late ten. You know. Well, Blaine just needs to keep, keep it clean. sparing it. <laughs> um, What's Shirley's favorite saying? Easier said than done. <laughs> we have the easy job, I must say. I tell you, I think I'm gonna be on TV a lot now, just to be here, Ye back here. You can have <laughs> my my penalty seat. Nice, nice. I, I don't mind. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh. oh. Wow. And he was kind of just a little worried. Yeah, he's breathing a small yeah. sigh. Well, and <laughs> where's my paperwork? Mm -hmm. I lost my paperwork. Ah, coming up next in our semifinal match, we have John Pernell. Nice. And he's going to go high rollers next week. Oh, yeah. our, our resident high roller champion. Champion, yeah. Yep. So he's, he's, he's bowling really good. Ready. He made last week's TV, and that's a little bit better. Kept that in the hole. It, it looks like both for both players, if they keep the shot pretty aggressive and accelerate through the bottom, they, they keep it in line. It, it's when you try to get soft and a little fancy on this right. in the shot, the ball starts to get really squirty. Today wasn't a day where you could kind of move your elbow around and. That, that's me. It's a good thing I didn't ball. See, <laughs> I, s I save a couple bucks. 
<laughs> well, you had uh, you had other oh, pressing busy. things Just going a little on. Busy. Right? <laughs> I was wasn't I wasn't busy, but you know. Your significant other was. I guess. <laughs> she was just a little busy. Did hey, you? two pushes. Done. Wow. That was it. Two pushes done. She was in and out. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Boy or girl? Girl. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Nice. And name? Uh, <coughs> yeah. Danielle Jasmine Leilani Flores. Wow. What a no nice carry. name. No carry. It's about this time of the match when I think Raymond's Justin's thinking, today's not my day. Nope. No matter what I threw down, mm -hmm. down at the pins, nothing is falling. Well, the computer guy with 25 years of experience offers in-home, no-hassle computer repair and service. Do you have a slow PC or other computer problems? No problem for the computer guy. Give Russell Itokazu a call at 783-9276. And Raymond gets that spare. His score is not uh, indicative of how he threw the ball no, today. He, he's he's been throwing the ball good. It just Pretty like good. you said, no breaks. One or two breaks would have been a little different. I mean, he's you know he still can finish with a 170. You know, and yeah. it just doesn't want to fall. <laughs> not, nothing. 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 I mean, I agree, Shirley. He got ripped off. Would you have changed ball though through the whole match? I, I, I mean, think I would have. I would have. Yeah. I mean, it's easier to say, but it, if you're just not carrying once or twice, man, a couple opens. Man. I, you know, I went to a ball change in the match that I struggled on, and it didn't matter. So I. You it know, can go both ways. It well. can go both yeah, ways. It could go both ways. I know Raymond is talented enough to. Yeah. kind of manipulate the ball and you know maybe he tried to do that mm -hmm. and with no results but you know i found out today that i mean i brought a lot of balls about seven but i really found good reaction with just one that's a lot of bowling balls. yeah a lot for me that's and a um, that's a lot of balls yeah a lot of balls heavy ones too Okay, Raymond Allen finishes with a 157 game. And Blaine Martin is going to go on to face John Pirtle in our semifinal match. It's the high rollers. Two guys that know each other very, very well. <laughs> very well. Have you ever bowled high rollers? I have never bowled high rollers. Because really I had my PBA card yeah. for a long time. Right, exactly. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have not. But now they actually accept PBA bowlers. Ah. As long as you... Uh, yeah, a regional, don't. not a touring player. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Or you, I think you, you haven't won over so much in a year also. You are tour. correct. Time has changed so much, I heard, about the high rollers. But we got a lot of boys that's going to be up there. Oh, we do. We had yeah. a uh, congrats to. Uh, I'll change. Yeah, try yeah. something new. Congrats to Keith Odette for his great finish at the I know. USBC uh, awesome. Masters. Awesome. Yeah. And one more piece of business. Uh, special thanks goes out to Arden Signs for doing all of our sign work. Need signs, banners, or lettering done? Call them at 841 8591. So check out all the beautiful display boards we have out there. They do it all for us. And uh, yeah, good time for Blaine to make the change. Mm -hmm. Ball with a little bit of surface. Okay, Blaine Martin, winner of the second TV match, uh, 195 over Raymond Allen, 157. Stay tuned for our semifinal after these messages. And now for the Striker Pro Shop. Question of the week. What is the maximum number of holes in a bowling ball that you may have? Is it A, 4, B, 3, C, 11, or D, 5? We'll give you the answer at the conclusion of this match. Okay, welcome back, everyone. We're back here at Schofield Bowling Center. This is the Extreme 300 Pro Shop Open. Scott Mitamore here with uh, Wes Flores and Shirley Cato. And yeah. up now, John Pirtle. 
currently averaging 222 with a lifetime high of 224. He has seven 300 games, an 815 series, 14 times on TV, and four titles. Now, well, as we mentioned earlier, too, uh, former high roller champion, getting ready to go up for the event again this year. But he has to beat Mr. Blaine Martin, which has two games under his belt on TV so far. Right over the third arrow. Great shot. Both players start out with strikes. And Blaine kind of made a ball change the last game. Mm -hmm. And he went back to his, uh, I think it's a uh, roll grip out ball. It was, it was good that um, not often can you get a free ball where you can test out the lane. Test out the lane. Yep. Yeah. I think he really wanted to test it out on this lane more. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Trips to 610. Well, we talked about getting, that lucky getting some break. break. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. know, Raymond had nothing. Nothing. Um, no. He had breaks, just all bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, sometimes it's not it, your day. It's just like that. Yeah, and that, that's part of bowling. Yep. That's the hardest part as a bowler to take. Because mm -hmm. you could be throwing the ball really good and nothing good happens. And it's like you just take your legs and come back the next day. It's almost like playing, playing bingo and just waiting for that right. last letter. Yeah. That never comes. That number. <laughs> yeah, it never comes. John played the third Sick. arrow. He's a 6-10. John shot games of 223, 170, 206 for a total of 599. Qualified at 11th. Uh, he challenged Mike Signigo, 194 to 133. And then he challenged Darren Lee. Yes. With a 234-207. Uh, five game series of 1027 and he averaged 205 that put him at position number two 205 average got to second place wow there. wow tough tough that, bowling tough bowling man goes to show you how tough the lanes were uh oh uh, right over the third arrow wow yeah. he, he he targeted right correctly yeah. but the ball just, just a little too firm maybe just a little too firm I mean, if you're going to throw it hard, you better go a little straighter. You can't get it too far right. Not on this pattern. That, well, that's what it looks anyway. And John sounded like he was going to kind of attack it, yeah. play it more up and down, yeah. which is his, actually his, his wheelhouse. That's yeah. what he does best. And I think that's the best way to attack these lanes today. That's what I think. And, and I didn't bowl. So I don't know. A lot of times you see a lot. <laughs> You can see more when you're not bowling sometimes. Yeah. Well, John is always steady on his spares. Mm -hmm. He converts those two spares. Blaine has an early lead with that double. Let's see if he can extend it even further. If I were Blaine, <laughs> I'd try to get more strikes. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you carry those high shots. Yeah. Little wide. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> but he's been bowling a little bit on this pair, so you know he knows he knows what's happening out there. Yes. And, and that's the plus about staying on there. I mean, how many titles won from the bottom? That's right. I think it was you know, three times this this so far winter season. Yeah. yeah. Now the Wahoo Bowling Association or OBA in conjunction with the USBC provides benefits, resources, and programs that enhance the bowling experience for Oahu bowlers. Being an OBA member allows you to compete in certified events such as leagues, local, state, and national tournaments. For more information, call them at 845-4111 or visit their website at www.oahuusbcba.org. That's a lot of letters. And I didn't stutter. <laughs> well, Blaine came up a little high on that one, but <laughs> left a nine count. Yep. Thank you, Shirley, for while I'm catching my wind. <laughs> Look at all those letters. <laughs> <laughs> See, 
we have good teamwork here. Yeah, Not much dead air. Do it more often. <laughs> no, I want to be on the <laughs> other side. <laughs> All right, let's see if Johnny can make a good shot here. Don's throwing uh, what's that? Cool noise. Columbia. He likes his Columbia products. It's yeah. a nice looking ball. Yeah, and that's one of their weaker or, you know, lower flaring <laughs> balls that go pretty long. Ah. He's got that one in a little. Yeah. Softer uh, with the speed, maybe, three too. Six. He's kind of rotating a little bit on, on 42, the last shot, too. Quickly up for his spare. You know, he's coming in high, but he's not, he's not getting splits. That's, that's the important thing. Uh oh. Ooh. Just a little out of step right now. To take the deep breath. Those slow things down. Make a better shot here. Whoa. It was a better shot. Unfortunately, he left at 10. A little stuck. Yeah, at the line. Little, just little a little. Stick yeah. at the end. Uh, it could have been enough to yeah. kind of hit up on a ball and leave, leave that 10 pin. Uh -oh. uh, yeah, There's no it. problem. He gets it. Well, Wayne's still going. 34 pin lead after four frames. Nobody really pressured him yet. Not, not, not really, not, not yeah. Too. It might be interesting if he wins this match. Yeah. We'll have another lefty he, coming yeah, out. That's true. <laughs> Good shot there. But he's staying in the hole, keeping himself clean. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, made the right adjustments because he's been on the pair for a while. Yeah, yeah. He's kind of getting comfortable. Yeah. Going to go for his seven pin. Cross lane. Going to throw his tire. <laughs> <laughs> his spare tire. <laughs> mm. uh, times I wanted to throw stuff at the pins too. <laughs> Shoes. Shoes. Bags. Bags. The whole glasses. Airy. <laughs> Maybe we can try to get 12 pins, 11 pins. <laughs> oh, boy. Wait. You know, you pay those guys on the back and they don't listen. Yeah. Yeah. They just take your money. Yeah, they just take your money and you know, <laughs> they'll, let, they'll let you shoot 190. That's it. I uh, would have been happy with 190 my first game. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I noticed that on a lot of the sheets. That Everybody had that one bad game. Yeah, there weren't too I, many. I was looking at yeah. it and it's just. Then, you know, tournament leader, he's he people pretty consistent. Oh, he liked it. Oh, that one's wide. And see that, that, I tell you, that lane is his. He should try it, Try that arson on that lane. He needs to keep it in a certain zone. You get out of that zone, it's problems. Problems. You don't want to make too much mistakes with no. John there. He leaves a three, five, six, and nine. Not an easy spare. No, not on this condition. Not on any condition. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Gotta hurry. Oh. Oh, oh. Open frame. Open he's, frame. He's got a lot of room, though. Well, he's, well, if John goes up and yeah. uh, throws a double, still got a, almost a 10 pin lead. Yeah. But John needs As to step if, on it now. Yeah. He <laughs> fumble. Fumble. And oh, of course. Nice. Steps and on the gas yeah, now. It, and he knows he knows that he needs it. You know, like you said, halfway through the game, you know. Break it down. That's what I do. Keep it simple. Break it down. Second half. Second half and make a good shot and you know, pray for carry. <laughs> Well, in any any sport, there's phases in the game. Uh, first half, second half, quarters. 
Uh, they're there for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> timeouts. Normal timeouts in bowling. Okay, this would be big. When he throws this one, mm -hmm. be big. We're right in the thick of things. <coughs> oh, good shot. Walking it out. Oh. oh. Leaves the seven. Well, John wants to say thanks to his son, Jimbo. Also to Millie Gomes and Kevin Achong, his dog, Carlos and all his co-workers at the Hilton Hawaiian Village Security Department. I know what John's going to do. I know, too. He's going to throw that ball with surface. <laughs> yes, he will. He's hey. going to beat him. Especially on that lane. Well, do you need help with your bookkeeping, payroll, or tax preparation? Call Daniel Miyamoto of Dan's Bookkeeping at 456-3770. That's Dan's Bookkeeping. Four five six three seven seven zero. High Solid. flush. He looks comfortable on that lane. Needs to, you know, just get an open frame, just come back, get that strike. Yeah. I move back right. A With the feet? More. Yeah. yeah. A little more right. Stay yeah. More and, and keep it tight. Yeah. You're right. I read it that way. That's a little better. A little oh, better. nice hey, shot. Big hey, we, double. We, we know what we're talking about sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. Sometimes. 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 And, and he left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> I just was standing on my head. Then. Nah. Nah. That's all good. 27 pins down. Right over the third arrow. Oh! Hey! Got the late trip there. Five into the seven. Let's see if he does what. Well, this is this is the last push. He's gotta get. He's gotta get the pressure on right now. No, he's, oh. he's gonna go back to this ball. Oh, interesting. This is it. Do or die right now for John. Still can go two fifteen. Move his feet just a little bit. Good Steve. shot. That's flush. No. Right. Oh, got the mixer. Hey. Still yes. has a glimmer of hope. Have you seen it happen? Yes. Oh, you want to have your bowling equipment drilled by a professional? Come by the Ampro at 96 1243 Waihona Street in the Pearl City Industrial Park. Sanford Okita is the only pro shop owner and operator in Hawaii that's a member of the Professional Bowlers Association. So if you want to bowl like a pro, go to a pro at Ampro, 456 7400. Great shot, oh, solid seven. seven. He just doesn't have that out on this side on lane 41. You know. He's gonna have to finish on that lane 41. And that's what that's what Johnny made him do. Coming up next in our championship match, we have our tournament leader Jeff Yamamoto. Okay, Blaine picks up that seven pin. Take a look at the score here. Blaine is going at a 211 pace. John can punch out for a 215. So if Blaine does not double in the 10. He needs to throw two to lock him out. Yeah, he, he has a chance of losing. Yeah. And this is his this is his hardest pain. 41. Let's see if he makes an adjustment. He did throw a nice strike. He did. The last yes, time he, did. he was up here. Yeah, it was a, was a great shot. Let's see if he can repeat it. Uh oh. Will it set? Oh, oh high flush. Nice. The bowlers seem to have a little trouble with the footing on lane 41. Mm. It's that one spot right there where Johnny got stuck a little. It, I would but have, e even, I would. even though he. He kind of got stuck on it, yeah. raised up a little bit, but he stayed through it. it yeah, stayed through it.
kept it in line, handed in turn. Right. I would, I would want him on my team if he was finished. <laughs> that's why. That's why. That's your partner. <laughs> Needs a strike to lock him up. That's a good shot. Oh, too. that looks a good. Oh, wow. Oh, that one jumped. That jump. Looks like he tagged it a little bit harder on the bottom. It's a little bit more lift. And that opens the door. That. 2 11 with a spare here. John needs to throw 2 and um, 7. No. Two and seven. Two and seven. Yeah. Shirley would say, easier said than oh, done. Oh, 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 no. Two and six now. Wow. All right. OK, Blaine Morton finishes with a 2-10 game. So this is it. John needs two strikes. And count. Oh, he's walking it out. Oh, solid strike. With his experience, you, you can never leave him open door. For step-by-step -step Memorial Estate planning, pre need arrangements with affordable monthly installments, call Arlen Sampson of Paradise of Peace at 222-0419. For 17 years, Laura's been helping families with their funeral trust plans and cemetery property. So give her a call at 222-0419. Just step up, just step up there and do it. Well, you know John can handle the yeah, pressure. That's what I mean. I mean, you just gotta go through his regular routine and yep, just been, make a good shot. Been there before. Yep. Oh, got it little in. Ball's high. Oh, oh and he gets my. the squasher. He needs six, six, six. count. Six count. To win. Hey, just do that. Just like that. Being it right I at the I don't know end. if I'd go over there. <laughs> I would leave a five <laughs> count. <laughs> nah, he's going to put it. He's going to go for the pocket. Yeah, I would have changed ball though. <laughs> just to do it. And that's, that's the winner. That's a better shot. Okay, winner of our semifinal match, John Perl, 215 over Blade Martin, 210. And now for the Strike on Pro Shop question of the week. What is the maximum number of holes in a bowling ball may have? If you guessed C, 11, you are correct. We'll be right back after these messages with our championship match. Yeah, our tournament sponsor is Extreme 300 Pro Shop. Okay, we're back here at Schofield Bowling Center. This is the championship match. Extreme 300 Pro Shop Open. Scott Mitamore here with Wes Flores and Shirley Kato. And Jeff Yamamoto, currently averaging 200 with a lifetime high of 227. He has 14 300 games and four 800 series high of 825. He's been on TV nine times and he has two titles. And he's our tournament leader. Started out with a big strike. Yeah, he looks pretty comfortable. Man, he's good. But he's up with Johnny. That's that's not that's not gonna be an easy match. Be real real interesting. <laughs> wow. Almost, the, Almost the same break. Yeah. Just John's having problems with his. He's a little bit out of sync. His um, footwork is not matching his arm swing. Um, he's just kind of working through it. Um, oh, and he gets it. <laughs> yeah, look out. <laughs> he is a feel bowler, though. Yeah. He He's a yeah. really, yeah. it's all about feel for him. I mean, his thumb hole has to feel right. I mean, everything. Swinging that ball on his side. Trying to keep his arm swing loose. 